Okay, this is a brief overview of how to use Luma AI Beta. Uh, you move your iPhone around uh, to get your AR settings, then click a point on the object, move about 90 degrees, touch another point. Uh, that gives a rough bounding box that you can adjust. Uh, you use the blue uh, arrows, touch on screen and drag with your finger to uh, change the position and you need to double check that every part of the object is within that uh, cube or that uh, rectangular shape so nothing gets cut off so it just takes a little uh, attention to detail to make sure that you're not losing anything you're also not capturing a lot more than you actually want to capture you can also rotate the image uh, or the box if uh, that helps in this case i rotated so that handle is more easily contained and just double check a few spots here so this is a beta version uh, but it is going into uh, full general release pretty soon so that's why I thought it would be helpful to give a, a little preview of how it works so once you've done that uh, you proceed and you'll see uh, these kind of a rounded rectangles that circle the object in purple and as you move around matching the angle of the uh, translucent phone shapes that you see uh, and the angle of the uh, lines on that ring uh, and you just circle very slowly uh, to capture uh, and turn those purple lines uh, blue and uh, you don't necessarily have to get every one but the more that you get the better the capture will be uh, in the end and after you've uh, completed the three rings uh, that appear, one high, one medium, and one low, uh, then you're completed uh, with uh, what you have to do to use the guided uh, capture. There's another form called manual or freeform capture, I believe they, they've renamed it now. Freeform capture uh, lets you uh, record uh, photos from wherever you like. You simply press the uh, the record button and then just move around and it will show you uh, a cloud of images that you've captured so that's uh, kind of a nice feature now I've sped up here because it's a bit boring to watch this whole thing it's about four minutes of uh, circling and capturing but you you get the idea of how it works um, and uh, so whether you're using guided or uh, freeform it's the same process you circle and circle and get as many uh, shots as you can and uh, once you're complete uh, then you click finish and then you can upload the image upload time depends on your internet connection uh, and then once you've completed that it moves to queued and uh, depending on how busy it is uh, it will do that quicker then it moves on to various other stages of processing when everything's complete, uh, you get this as your final image. Uh, it's a, uh, they call it cinematic video. It spins around uh, the subject uh, from various uh, heights, uh, a very nice smooth pan that would be difficult to achieve by hand, but that's not all. There's a, a few more modes that are even more interesting. Uh, uh, coming up, uh, this is the uh, spin mode. You do this by hand. It's at a fixed height, but there's uh, more to come. Uh, this I call object mode because it extracts the object uh, from the background. It uses those bounding box uh, parameters that you put in at the beginning and uh, other uh, artificial intelligence to identify which portion of the scene is background and which part is the subject. So now uh, you can pinch in and you can spin and you can change the uh, height uh, and, and just see this object from uh, every angle. You'll notice there are a few gaps sometimes in the images. It's not perfect, but it's very, very good. Uh, and part of what's missing are, are the uh, textures. In other cases, there could be an object uh, error. Um, and now I switch to uh, the 3D model view. So that's not without any of the textures. And you can see exactly what uh, was captured. Uh, you can switch back and forth between those freely by touching the button in the bottom right. Um, there's one more mode that I want to show you. This one brings the background in and shows the textures 
Uh, and you can also switch to the model and it shows the entire scene is captured in three dimensions. Next up, uh, you might want to save the object uh, in another format. You can actually export in a couple of uh, well-known uh, 3D formats that you can use within other programs. So it'll process and convert to the, your chosen format. There might be more of these coming in the future. Uh, and then you get to choose where you save it and give it a file name. You can also export the cinematic video, uh, which I'm doing here now. And uh, same thing, it, it uh, asks you where you want to save it. If you save it to photos, it'll show up in your uh, photos library. And here's that exported video. You can see uh, how it looks. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, uh, the top and bottom are filled in by my app because it's a little bit of a shorter uh, video than uh, what you see uh, within the app itself. And I'm going to repeat that a second time so you can uh, take a moment to really see uh, how that looks. Uh, I think it's very nice quality um, capturing, you know, the, the glow and the, the shininess and, you know, a lot of the attributes of that object. So this uh, is an example from a uh, different Luma AI capture. This one was done uh, outside during daylight. A... Uh, woodland fairy uh, figurine uh, that my wife uh, made and um, I just set it on a log and walked around and uh, captured all the details. Uh, there were plenty of details in the background but uh, Luma AI was able to extract the 3D model. Uh, very well done but there were a few little uh, blobs that were included and those needed to be edited. So to clean up uh, those extra details that aren't wanted you can load it into a free app called MeshLab. Uh, you just highlight the portion that you don't want and you can remove those uh, extra details from the 3D object. Uh, you can also uh, compress the image without, uh, or the, the 3D file, I should say, without affecting the quality too dramatically. Uh, this uh, was uh, nearly 500,000 vertices when I started and I'm able to crunch that down quite a lot. So after cleaning up uh, the extra low pieces that you don't want and uh, compressing uh, the 3D object without uh, hurting the overall uh, appearance, uh, you get something that's less than 100,000 vertices, a much lighter 3D file to work with. Whether you're looking for uh, actual 3D object capture so that you can export that and use that elsewhere, or you just want uh, the video effect of a smooth 3D capture uh, that you can control with a drag of the finger. Uh, Luma AI is a really wonderful solution and a way to capture memories in a unique way that gives you the entire scene.